I posted a video of brake fluid change a while ago. On that video, I stressed how important to maintain the brakes in good condition. One day, I realized that the rear brake is making squeaky sound. That is the sound of inevitability. That must be brake part chafed out. I plead guilty to the negligence of a duty of regular checkup. It's time for another maintenance walk. A brake pad is placed on each side of the brake disc with narrow clearance. And a metal piece called brake shim is attached to the brake pad. And the brake caliper covers the outside of the brake pads. As you operate the brake, a piece called brake cylinder pushes one pad against the disc. At the same time, the claw of caliper pulls the other pad and press it against the disc on the other side. The replace work is pretty simple. First, take off the caliper. Detach the older pads. Just make sure not to lose the shims. Place the new pads. And I put the caliper back on. Some instructions tell us to grease the brake part before putting them on. But I didn't because 1. It is not a must work. 2. Because I don't have grease. 3. It was too hot and I didn't want to do anything unless I have to. Put the right answer on the comment section. You may get a free pizza. When the caliper was taken out from the disc, the brake cylinder sticks out by the fluid pressure and narrow the space to the claw of caliper. The brake parts would not fit in the space. You need to push back the cylinder to widen the space. Keep the pressure onto the cylinder and the cylinder should gradually move back into the caliper. <laughs> 